Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I have started an initiative wherein I will be definitely reviewing resumes uh, for the data science role or machine learning engineer role or deep learning developer role or AI engineering role. So for all this kind of role, even data analyst, you know, so I'll be getting this kind of resumes and I'll review it in front of you. And based on some feedback, I'll definitely give you some feedbacks, which will definitely be helpful for you based on that. So definitely be see resume is one of the most important thing whenever you're trying to apply for the job you know trust me the number of calls that is actually coming to you it is completely dependent on the resumes itself now uh, today we are going to review dhruv bhatia uh, resume and again uh, we'll try to see each and every section what can be added more what can be removed more what is not required at all all those things i'll try to discuss about now um, First of all, I'll come to the resume format. The resume format looks absolutely fine. Over here in the right hand side, you will be able to see all the details in the left hand side with respect to your education details and some of the key projects. Everything is basically uh, visible over here. And uh, trust me, uh, I'll discuss line by line and say you that what all things can be added. So let's go begin with this. So he's saying that 1.5 plus years experienced business development manager this is fine and internship as a data scientist in software development firm looking for transition to data science role now <clears throat> what can be added over here what do i feel over here he has missed like how many months internship is probably doing okay he can actually add that specific term he can basically write 1.5 years experience as business development manager plus six months or three months or four months ex uh, experience internship as a data scientist in some firms okay so he can actually put that specific information in this particular two line so it is obviously good right if you are trying to write the years of experience with respect to internship or any kind of job definitely write it over here then with interest in analyzing raw data science this is fine this is normal description over here is spoken about machine learning models uh, but if you know if Dhruv if you know deep learning also I would suggest you that please try to write something regarding deep learning in the top section if you don't know about this if you're just focused on machine learning I think it is perfectly fine because understand nowadays uh, companies will look at both machine learning and deep learning roles now this is personal details this is the thing I like it more uh, his put his LinkedIn ID github uh, URL even public tableau url where he has uh, probably may have created some of the uh, you know reports so directly if i go and click this automatically this entire public url will be visible which is pretty much good okay so any any kind of reports he may have probably created so for a recruiter he will they will be able to see this now see this this is the sales performance dashboard so i i definitely like this part where i am able to see something that he has created over here in an amazing way right so this left hand side linkedin github uh tableau link and probably if you have written any kind of articles that also you can actually put it over there okay so coming to the next one graduation and all this is fine okay from where he has actually done the graduation any kind of certification and all things is there okay and guys if you are writing post graduation develop diploma in something certification in something please make sure that you mean those certifications okay based on the certification the interviewer will be asking more tougher questions okay now coming to the work experience now see this work experience data science intern techno labs private limited from march to august <clears throat> and over here the time of work the type of work was team lead managed and lead t three teams five member plus each for project profit the project was predict billboard hits using uh, spotify data the project looks amazing what is the primary goal this is very very good you know primary goal uh, uh the way that he has written it it is pretty much good see this guys i i like this resume a lot so primary goal uh the goal of the project is always important i've never seen uh, I've, I've seen many people who in whose resumes the primary goal is not at all mentioned what is the main goal of the project so over here you can see to investigate using machine learning techniques to predict which songs will become billboard hot 100 hits so perfectly fine solution <clears throat> how in this solution he has basically in indicated from where he has collected the data 
songs from this 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 songs labeled a one or zero on billboard success audio features this 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 was there now see audio features for each song were extracted from the spotify web api amazing he has also used web apis four machine learning algorithm was used to predict us uh, song billboard success now i don't think so you need to write this information like how many machine learning algorithms you are you have used and all not at all necessary because for this you can also use deep learning algorithms okay and in machine learning algorithms the interviewer may ask you why four there are that that tens and twenties of machine learning algorithms why four so don't actually over complicate your resume and probably try to uh, go uh, don't allow the interviewer to ask more questions on that per perspective again you'll try to explain him you'll, you'll not answer based on his likes and dislikes and again he'll be questioning you so don't actually write, write all those things result found that decision tree performed best this is not also not required <clears throat> see result found that decision tree performed best no need okay this question let the interviewer ask you just say that you got a precision of 88 percent 87 percent 90 percent whatever things no need to write about the machine learning algorithm there you can actually say that we tried out 10 15 different algorithms and out of that you know based on the data you know uh, you got decision tree you can explain them because see in incremental when you are training your model incrementally then those accuracy will be again changing probably you have to use different different models every couple of months it may change okay so this project was there you could write some information regarding deployments also or cloud that you have actually used that would also be very very good you know how you have deployed the model and all so that particular data is missing but small and sweet it is perfectly fine just add this feedback it will actually help you a lot then the second project is predicting flight delays using local weather data this looks good you should also tell him that um, if you are able to convince him that these projects were actually done in that specific company they may ask you why was this project done you know for which client probably for what was the purpose of this particular project what are you AP, uh, aiming to do so a aiming aiming and part you have actually written nicely in the primary goal then again over here same same thing do not write about machine learning algorithm just say that you have applied all the machine learning algorithms because then they will tell you that how did you just go with this four machine learning algorithms and again unnecessary question and answering will be there right so again over here you can see data science and analytics intern in spark foundation gathered reviewed analyzed this is there this is there so i think you have somewhere around more than eight eight months experience in internships so it is perfectly fine right your previous work experience will also be important and how you have actually written over your purchase total revenue this one i i definitely like i i like this numbers that you are probably written in your resume that is the reason why i have selected your resume in the first hand you know so i, I can see numbers over here right which is very very good you know probably have done so much sale and similarly with respect to machine learning models that you can actually do you can just say that you have automated this particular part it has reduced the cost by this many numbers or units everything is perfect right so yeah i i, I feel like it is good so here okay finally i have written about certifications article published article published also i think you should move up over here because this is the first thing that they will look at you know the first thing that they will look at are all these things you have given your github link your linkedin after this you can actually put this education and all you can go down okay so that is what i feel technical skills perfect you have written everything over here heroku cloud data engineering amazing data pre-processing in data engineering why you have written eda data pre-processing and feature engineering that does not make sense because this is a part of the data science project in data engineering you have to write probably with which databases you have worked cloud you have worked all those things you know you can actually write it over here you know probably any you have used big data or you have used any live streaming data all those information can be right written over here in ml algorithms i don't think so this is the right way to write okay linear logistic regression you know only two algorithms or what no right you, you you have so many different classification and regression algorithms you can write instead classification you can write supervised and unsupervised machine learning algorithms over here right in deep learning algorithm you have boosting boosting is a part of ml algorithms again ada boost random forest you know so this if you are writing like this definitely the interviewer will have doubt and since you have written certification postgraduate diploma certification i don't think so you should write all this thing you should know the basic difference between ml and deep learning algorithms in deep learning you should come as ann cnn rnn 
you know object detection all those things are in ml algorithms all these things will go boosting pca time series in time series also if you want to talk about some of the algorithms you have to do that nlp text normalize stemming and lemmatization word cloud add more you know word embeddings word word embeddings uh add rnn you know lstm rnn all those things will also be used in nlp probably add features like bert transformers you know so you need to improve this particular part i did not like this technical skills definitely this definitely requires a lot of improvement because the interviewer may catch you between ml algorithms and deep learning algorithms in this i may if i was the interview i had taken one hour of your here only and probably had took out every information from you and again when people when you say you are having some post graduate diploma or any kind of certification that you have written over here trust me they will catch you like anything so <clears throat> out of 10 if i really want to give this uh, resume some number i liked everything else probably i uh, the best part i like was this work experience that you have written in projects you can add some more information uh the two things are that i did not like this article published can be moved up only this particular part i did not like uh which is it so i would like to give somewhere around 7 out of 10 6 to 7 okay because this is the main thing and this this because of this only this resume gets selected okay and here only you are basically written uh, you have messed this up okay so please try to fix this and definitely other than that it looks absolutely fine if you are uploading this particular resume lot of calls definitely you are going to get so i hope you like this particular video similar videos i'll be coming up with more and more you know and uh, yeah this was it uh, i hope you like this particular video i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you and all bye bye